What surprised you about sex after having it for the first time? Needing my asthma inhaler. Men are completely different people when they finish. Post-nut clarity. I always blow before making any major life decisions. Expensive purchases. Buying a new car. Come first. Then you'll know if you really need it. And that's exactly why you're not allowed to enter any car dealerships anymore. That apparently I have a condition known as delayed ejaculation or retarded ejaculation. Simply put it is very difficult for me to have an orgasm during sex. AKA I just kind of keep going at it for a long time. You would think that would be a good thing. Women complain about men not lasting long enough, etc. Instead my first partner an older and more experienced girl literally stormed out of my dorm room in a fit of rage because I clearly wasn't interested in her and definitely not a virgin. Both of which I was until then. Vaginas are like. Super warm inside. How badly girls want to have it too that my core isn't as strong as I thought it was. It was so warm in there. How shallow people can be. It was with one of my closest friends at the time and they never spoke to me again. Holy shit. If I'm going to do more of this, I need to get in shape. Quote. The hole is lower than you think it is. The first time I had sex I could hardly get it up and it was kind of awkward and I was really nervous. But the first time I had sex that I was really comfortable and actually got off and all. I was so stoked. It was like, whoa dude, this is sick. Quote. I thought that when he came, it would come shooting out like a fire hose or something. His pace quickened, then his whole body tensed up. I braced myself for impact, but nothing like that happened. This post just explained a lot of very angry jabbing above my vagina. You guys think it's higher than it is. The whole thing makes sense now. I thought maybe mine had an odd angle or something. I can't stop laughing. How hard it was to keep your erection when you have to run upstairs and find a condom and then try to put it on really fast. How easy it is for someone not to care afterwards. That my erection lasts longer when I hold my breath. The girl's mother trying to barge in. They door was blocked by a dresser and her gaze beamed into the room like the, the eye of Sauron. How my life was exactly the same. I still cringe when I think back to 16 year old me. Girl I had a crush on lost her virginity to a friend at a party. I wasn't there. And knowing that I had a crush on her. Everyone was careful to keep that information away from me. When I found out I took it personally. Noticed a bunch of not so nice stuff about her personality. And blamed it to her face on how she changed after losing her virginity. I lost mine a few years later. Nothing changed for me at all. I looked back and realized nothing had changed for her either. All that happened was my own jealousy forced my rose-tinted glasses away. And my crush was just a fickle infatuation that had little to do with who she was as a person. To this day nearly 15 years later, it's still something I think about and feel embarrassed over. Usually late at night when I'm trying to sleep. She came, vigorously and loudly. Needless to say, I had little to do with it. But that was a physical reaction I had never witnessed, and couldn't explain at the moment. Given all the joking about premature ejaculation, I was surprised with how long I lasted. My first time was somewhat late in life. I was 24. She was aware I was a virgin and I guess I'd have to describe it as her guiding me. My surprise was how great it was and how big of an ego boost it was. I'd watched porn but didn't expect it to be like that so I didn't really have any misconceptions. We just clicked really well and everything went smoothly. I got a boost in confidence and it felt like a relief in a way. For me, I had waited to be with the right woman. I had opportunities with women in the past but knew they wouldn't work long term, not religious or anything. Just knew what I wanted. She and I are married now, almost 10 years, and I wouldn't change a thing. I knew that dicks got hard but I didn't expect it to be that hard, and yet the tip is still nice and squishy. That was just something I discovered with my hands. Also that penetration can feel good. When I experimented with my fingers or toys previous to having sex, it wasn't painful, but I didn't get any enjoyment out of it. After being penetrated with a real penis, I discovered it was actually very pleasurable. May the Reddit gods have mercy on your DMs. 
I thought I'd feel him come inside me but I didn't. Really tried focusing every time to see if I'd feel anything at all. But no. Oh yeah and I can't finish with just penetration that part was annoying. Fun but annoying. Most women IRC 70% need clitoral stimulation to reach orgasm. You are not an outlier. It is quite funny how our culture always fails to mention this and it leads to a lot of women not coming and faking their orgasms to make men happy because they feel like they should be coming with penetration. Also they might never come while with a partner because of this as they never learn how to make her come, which contributes to the orgasm gap between men and women. All the weird noises. Sorry. I don't know why I sound like a beached whale giving birth when I come. It's just my thing I guess. I was like damn that is actually a lot of work. It made me understand Charles Barkley's quote when talking about NBA teams playing three nights in a row I wouldn't even want to have sex three nights in a row. When you're younger. Sex three nights in a row is easy. As you get older and have less energy. It gets harder and harder to fit three consecutive nights of sex around your wanking schedule. How f***ing exhausting it is. How people would throw away their lives for that. I still don't know why they would. But like why cheat on your spouse. Lose your license and have to change careers. Or just spend all your time occupied with obtaining it. The attraction to the other person that it left behind. The girl who I lost my virginity to really wanted to have sex because she was a year older, super horny, and wanted to f a younger guy and I happened to be her cup of timid, innocent, water, and my god did she ever f the living shit out of me when we were together but she wasn't in it for anything more or less. She knew the name of the game and I didn't because she was my first, and it genuinely hurt to know that she didn't care to be with me the way I wanted to be with her. I knew what flings and FWB were but contrary to how well aware of them I was. I still felt more and I just wanted to be around her. And in retrospect, there wasn't much about her to stick around for. We had little in common. We were so different as people. It was just sex brain working its magic. There could be nothing there but sex will make you think there's something there because that's what sex does. Sex is magic to virgins and a circuit breaker to veterans. I was surprised someone wanted to sleep with me. Where the vagina hole is it was a lot lower down than I expected. I can remember foreplay with my ex this was years ago when I was a teen the night before and I was like rubbing her groin kind of area where a dude's dick would be with my hands thinking it would be turning her on. I'd watched porn before but never thought about it eventually she showed me and I was quite embarrassed. Didn't matter though had sex and lost my virginity. My girlfriend fell asleep while I was losing my virginity. So yeah, definitely a surprise. Yes. We were both quite drunk. Obviously. I stopped when I saw her her eyes were closing and she just wanted to go to bed. She actually made it up to me afterwards and our sex life was pretty damn hot for as long. No I did not marry her. Boo hoo. Was it your girlfriend you were losing your virginity with or did she just happen to be falling asleep separately at the time of the incident? Queefs. She wasn't a virgin. I was. I thought she was farting. I found that out when it happened again a week later and she said you do know I'm not farting. Right. I pretended I did and googled it afterwards. How difficult it was to climax in the presence of another person. I'd had almost a decade of practice only doing it when alone. Postscript. I got better. And I'm grateful to everyone who helped. Well, I waited 19 years to get nailed in the back of some dude's car next to his piles of dirty laundry. It felt like nothing, absolutely no pleasure for me, but I did discover that I am very allergic to latex. That was a big surprise. It didn't hurt like I'd expected. I was a little sore, but it wasn't the oh god I'm dying that's so often portrayed in movies. Also, how easy and relaxed it was. I have generalized anxiety so pretty much everything is stressful to some degree. But giving up my virginity was very comfortable. That it wasn't some life-changing event. I didn't feel any different afterwards. Except kinda proud for a day or two. I remember when one of my good friends in high school lost their virginity. Everybody in our friend group was praising him and he was acting all grown up and shit. I wanted to tell them I had got some too but it was one of their sisters. That it was as good as I expected. Everyone used to tell me it's not as good as you'd think. But it was. Maybe the key is having lowered expectations. Condoms taste like shit. 
especially if your partner just performed anal on you right beforehand. Brew that's nasty. Thanks I hate it. For me, I think it was how natural it was. Like animal instincts kick in and your pelvis starts moving in whole new ways. It sounds like you have a good relationship with your instincts. Or a haunted pelvis. That I was not pregnant as my public school sex ed had implied I would be. I was worried after my first time. Two months drifted by without even the slightest sign of my period, then remembered I'm a dude. I was surprised that although sex felt better, masturbation gets the climax much faster. Foreplay was awesome. Everything was exciting even if the dude was bad at it. Being touched in any way was so stimulating because it never happened. The actual act though, I didn't feel anything. It like I didn't have anything in there. It was disappointing. I have to point out that this had nothing to do with the guy, his size or about what he did or did not do. It was more about me than him. Most girls complain about pain in the first time but with me it was the opposite. After that everything went normal and I could enjoy it, even if we were doing the same thing. That penises were so big but it turns out in hindsight that he just had a really big penis.